You've got two types of people right now, those who are leaning into traveling and are ready to face potential obstacles but still go forward with it, and others who are still biding their time. I know some experts are expecting more people will fly in the months ahead. You've actually uh, got a term for it, John. You call it revenge travel. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting concept that, they, you know, People have been cooped up, as we know, for the last 18, 24, any 18 to 20 months, and people just want to get out, and they really want to get out in the marketplace and basically fly someplace. And it really doesn't matter whether it's a short haul trip, long haul trip, whether it's to Vancouver, whether it's to Bali, or whether it's to Dar es Salaam. People want to get away, and you know they have a disposable income available because they haven't been spending money over the last 18 months. So people are taking that trip. And, you know, they're saying, you know, we're, we're going to do it to heck or high water hmm. and we're going to make sure that we are able to take that trip. So the airlines have been, you know, the benefit of that revenge travel, the flights are full and the fares are going up. So it really is, you know, the, the, the return to air travel, it may not be to the same level as 2019, but it's climbing up there, which is great news for the industry.